Now I'm going to try and redo um, the application on the powders which was too long last night and I couldn't load it up. Um, so this is going to do this little foot here. Um, I'm going to use um, my makeup brushes. Um, this set was from Light in the Box. Um, I think it was twenty twenty one dollars for thirty four brushes, free postage, really good value. Um, and today I'm going to use um, this colour here, which is our pomegranate, um, because this baby is going to be a peaches and cream baby. Now, if I was going to do a, a olive skin baby, I might use um, my fine wine here. And if I was doing an AA baby, I'd either use either the chocolate here or um, the wild raisin. So um, the first rule of thumb when painting with powders is to make sure that um, you don't the paint doesn't grab and how you do that and that's a little makeup artist trick is you make sure that you keep the um, the brush moving as soon as it hits the vinyl. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I wipe it off a bit just to get rid of that excess and then as soon as I hit the vinyl I start moving in a circular motion like this okay for the big toe I'm using a bigger brush because it's got more surface area less chance of it being patchy okay make sure we do the sides as well and the front and to do the front I will use a smaller one And really, really work it in. I'm really quite hard on my brushes because I um, work it in really well. Okay. You can see that taking shape there. Don't forget the tip here. It has to be blushed right up to the nail but not on top of the nail. And around the sides. I often see people um, forgetting to do the sides. You want the whole toe blushed. Here in the inside there. Just up to that first knuckle. You can see now that's taking shape. And now we'll do the inside of this one. And the next one. I'm moving extra fast because I want to get it all in the video. I normally wouldn't go this fast, of course. Okay, making sure I don't forget those tips. If you do get any grabbing, it's quite easy just to use your finger. Um, I'm a great believer in using your finger to um, fix problems. inside. This can be very relaxing when you take your time on it. That's what I like about the powders. It's very relaxing and you can do them anytime, anywhere as well. I've even, I've even taken them to work and powdered a little foot or two in my lunch break. Part of the addiction, as everyone of you would know. And I'm going to get an even smaller um, a uh, brush here to get into the sides of these little ones here. Okay. A bit of grabbing there. Then I get a tissue and I generally wipe it down with the tissue. Once again, we don't want any sitting on the surface. It's all about staining the vinyl. Um, as opposed to paint which sits on the surface goes in a little bit you still get some on the surface um, so you can see those little toes there taking shape okay now the next thing we do is we have to do in between the toes once again I'll use a small small one keeping it moving going around this pad's See where you've got a little paddy um, pad here. Um, that's why I like the more detail kits because they um, they've got 
um, more little, little nuances that you can actually um, colour uh, a bit more interesting. Um, the artist has gone to a lot of trouble to do those so I like to accentuate those if I can so that um, they just pop. You see that one's just popping out now and I'll, uh, later on I will put another colour on that to even make it pop a bit more. Better keep an eye on the time, otherwise I'll go over again. Okay. Once again, three now through to the back. We're leaving that little um, joint there unblushed, just to give it some light and shade. Because the toes are the extremities and that's where the blood flows and also that's where they're resting on the bed or what happens when you put um, the blush on to these pads also is that um, your um, creases show up. So you you'll have um, it will be more accurate when you do the creases. That's why just recently I started to do my creases last um, because I just think you get um, a better result. Okay, I'm going to stop it now and get ready for the next one.